Imagine spending hundreds of hours working meticulously to craft a creative masterpiece worthy of a pat on the head. You'd want it to last at least long enough so you can show your future imaginary girlfriend, right? <laughs> well, for many artists, this isn't the case. They want their work to melt or rot or get washed away because, well, I'm not entirely sure, but that's why some of the incredible pieces coming up are so fascinating. Let's get to it. Amazing. Untitled, Urs Fischer. Urs Fischer is a Swiss-born contemporary visual artist who lives in New York. In 2011, Fischer exhibited a trio of wax sculptures at the Venice Piano, one of which replicated a famous piece by Flemish-Italian sculptor Jan Bologna. The wax was pigmented to imitate a marble effect, and through it ran a wick system that was developed to allow the untitled work to melt like a candle for the duration of the biennial. The astonishing effect can be seen in this video as the form of the sculpture is slowly ebbed away by the flame. Was all the effort that went into making the sculpture worth it? I think so, and Vault Magazine described Fisher's exhibition as the highlight of the biennial that year. Avocado Art we live in the age of avocados, and finally we've got the avocado artist we deserve. Daniele Baresi is an award-winning carving designer from Italy who now lives in Australia. Daniele says it takes him only around an hour to carve an avocado like the one we see here. He uses other fruits for art as well. Here's a video of Daniele carving an orchid from a papaya. It's stunning work, and Daniele claims that as soon as he's finished carving and taking photos, he always eats the food he uses creation and destruction of sand mandala. Sand mandalas are the oldest and best known examples of ephemeral or temporary art. And for good reason, they are painstakingly crafted and stunning to look at. Check out this time lapse that shows the precision sand placement method used by the Buddhist monks. It involves tiny tubes, funnels, and scrapers and goes on for five straight days. On day six, the monks ceremonially wipe away the mandala and commit the swept up sand to water, thus releasing the artistic energy back into the community. The ritual represents the transitory nature of material life. It's also symbolic of how it feels to have an older brother kick down your sandcastle. Banksy self-destroying painting. Back in October of 2018, world-famous graffiti artist Banksy sold a copy of his piece, Girl with Balloon, at a Sotheby's auction in London. The moment the hammer came down on the price of 1.37 million, a device in the frame of the painting began to shred the iconic image before the eyes of the world. The stunt is thought to have doubled the price value of the artwork immediately, making it one seriously lucrative prank. Since the piece itself is irreversibly changed, this definitely counts among one of the most impressive feats. Not only was one masterpiece destroyed, but another was created in the process. Ice Sculptures This is the first example of land art on the list, and it won't be the last. To put it simply, land art is art that's made directly in the landscape from the natural materials available. These ice and wood sculptures by Martin Hill and Philippa Jones of New Zealand are a beautiful testament to patient creativity and acceptance that nothing lasts forever. All that remains of these incredible works are pictures, so Hill and Jones are known principally as photographers, not sculptors. I don't know about you, but these images give me chills. Brussels Flower Carpet Every August, hundreds of Belgian flower growers head to Brussels to create this, the flower carpet. It's an abundant and vivid exhibition of the dahlias and begonias grown in and around Belgium. The 75 meter long carpet is made up of over 500,000 flowers and it takes 100 volunteers around eight hours to put the whole thing together. The design of the carpets is detailed and intricate and I really wish I had a house big enough to fit one of these in the grand hall. Sadly, the beautiful carpet is hauled away by street cleaners on the Monday morning and the flowers go straight in the incinerator. How romantic. Sand Circles in May 2009, the sand artist Jim Denovan and a team of three colleagues created the world's largest single artwork in Black Rock Desert, Nevada. The giant sand drawing was visible from 40,000 feet up in the sky and had a circumference of more than nine miles. It took 15 days to complete this astounding piece, which contained more than a thousand individual circles. The drawing is based on a mathematical theorem called an Apollonian gasket a design based around triples of circles at tangents to each other. 
While this particular work now belongs to the Desert Winds, Denovan doesn't plan to stop there. In fact, the artist wants NASA to let him draw on the surface of Mars. With stunning views like this, I say we let him. Great Fire of London On the 4th of September 2016, somebody set the River Thames on fire. To commemorate the 350th anniversary of the Great Fire of London, the Burning Man regular and burn artist David Best was commissioned to build a replica of the city center of London as it looked like in the 17th century. The extraordinarily detailed wooden city was built on a 120 meter barge, pushed out into the river, and set alight. Over 60,000 people came to watch the 45 minute long blaze, which reduced the matchstick masterpiece to standing ash. The artwork itself was sacrificed to create an astonishing event that reminds us about our historical relationship to fire and just how destructive it can be. Minimum Monument Brazilian sculptor Nili Azevedo has traveled to cities across the globe since the mid-2000s with an army of tiny ice people. The work is called Minimum Monument and involves hundreds if not thousands of these little humanoid ice sculptures which are placed at significant landmarks and allowed to melt away. The footage of these disappearing figures is beautiful and unnerving. The artist calls her work an anti-monument and it has come to be seen as a warning about the threat of global warming. When placed on the steps of a concert hall in Berlin, the figures melted away after just 30 minutes or so in the 73 degree sun, making this artwork one of the most short-lived on the list. Preserve Beauty Installed at the Tate Modern in 2004, Anya Galatio's Preserve Beauty was made up of four panels of bright red flowers preserved behind glass. As the exhibition went on, the flowers were allowed to die and rot and would sometimes fall out of their glass cases and onto the floor. Part of the viewing experience is the smell of the flowers at different stages of decay, which at times must be quite overwhelming, considering there are up to 2,000 flowers. The piece comments on the fleeting nature of beauty and presumably suggests that you're not always going to smell good either. Artist Breath Provocative Italian artist Piero Manzoni created artwork through destruction in this strange example of artistic narcissism. This piece, called Artist's Breath, was originally just a simple red balloon inflated with Manzoni's breath. But as it deflated, the rubber became stuck to the wooden base underneath. The piece was given to the Tate Modern in 2000 and strikingly represents the passing of a single exhalation, essentially capturing a small physical moment in the artist's life. Or is it just a balloon that some guy blew up then deflated? Maybe it's both? Modern art is pretty confusing. Middle Fork John Grade Over the course of a three-year-long project that started in 2014, sculptor John Grade reconstructed a 140-year-old western hemlock tree from the Cascade Mountains outside Seattle. He made a full plaster cast of the living tree and used thousands of reclaimed pieces of old growth cedar to create this stunning perforated model, which will eventually be laid back down at the foot of the tree so it can decompose. Now that's what you call giving back to nature. Andy Goldsworthy land art. The land art of Andy Goldsworthy is really something to marvel at. His painstaking, punishing artistic method is carried along by an obsessive understanding of beauty. And just look at the results. Goldsworthy's works employ nature and amplify aspects of it to brilliant effect, particularly in his use of leaves and icicles. Every single one of these near magical works will have eventually melted, or rotted, or blown away, and may have taken days to complete. Even though he may have little to show for it, I really hope Andy carries on making these amazing ephemeral sculptures. U.S. Sand Sculpting Challenge Every year in San Diego, California, the U.S. Sand Sculpting Challenge is held, and it demonstrates the striking talents of the world's best sand sculptors. From 3D dragons to depictions of the human mind, the level of detail that goes into these sculptures is phenomenal. Here's some of the past winners. While it's possible to preserve smaller indoor sculptures with water and glue spray solution, if you're building outside, it's only a matter of time before your masterpiece is reclaimed by the elements. Is it worth it? The sand enthusiasts who come back every year definitely think so. And so do the citizens of the temporarily named city of San Diego. Ponderful. Saiguao Chung Sky Ladder Did you ever think that a human being would be able to conjure up a fiery ladder to heaven? No? Well, think again. 
In the early hours of June 15, 2015, Chinese firework artist Sai Gua Chung sent a 1,600-foot ladder of fire into the sky using a balloon filled with 6,200 cubic meters of helium. The ladder was coated in quick-burning fuses and gold fireworks so that the fire races into the sky and produces a spectacle that's both startling and delightful. The completed sky ladder was a gift to the artist's mother on her 100th birthday so very few people were there to see it in person. The news, however, spread around the world, even though the piece only burned for about two and a half minutes. The Sky Ladder is the shortest lived masterpiece in this video, but it may well be the most famous in recent years, proving that longevity has little to do with significance. What an amazing present for your mother on her 100th birthday, Sai. Way to make the rest of us look bad. Dominoes. No list of masterpieces that didn't last long would be complete without mentioning dominoes. All around the world, enthusiasts continue to create bigger and more complex domino designs, only for them to be pushed over. And while the resulting fall only lasts for a few seconds or minutes, they are genuinely satisfying to watch. Check out a few of these examples on Taikamuna, a really impressive domino channel where works of art are made and then toppled. There you can see a variety of incredible pieces of domino art from feline mosaics to abstract art and a smug tangerine human. Personally, I don't know how people have the patience for this sort of thing, but I'm really glad they do. Watching those dominoes fall into place just puts my mind at peace for some reason. How does it make you feel? Well, we've reached the end. That didn't last very long, did it? If there are any examples like this that you can think of, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.